55 rush hour traffic getting ready to go to work your Philadelphia Phillies are getting ready to play the Atlanta Braves I'm gonna work there tonight I only got I got like maybe five days left at the stadium so I figured why not do this I'm gonna make a documentary a little movie if you will so uh, if you're, you know, it's going to be funny, but it's not going to be, you know, a joke every minute or something like that. This is going to be like a documentary movie, because why not? The day in a... I can't say this goddamn sentence. The day... A day in the life of a stadium employee. Uh, uh, I've been working at the stadium. I've been there since March. Uh, and now it is September 11th today. Uh, 2019 uh, road work ahead no trucks or buses in the right lane fantastic I always say rush hour is the best time to get road work done because traffic is at a standstill look at this you know what I don't get yeah. there is always traffic from Allegheny to Gerard as it could be Sunday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It could be Wednesday at 4.20. Uh, but uh, I don't know what the problem is. I don't know why. It, and then when you get to, like, right after the Girard exit, which is no longer in use, I they're, they're fixing it or something. They took it out. I thought once they got rid of that, bam, we'll be smooth sailing. No, traffic got worse. I, if you're an employee, you could park at a lot next to the Eagles practice facility and it's uh, three dollars to park there and you get you can take a bus back and forth like a school bus they have a bus that shuttles you back and forth about a month ago I was talking to somebody who lives near the stadium uh, pretty much I, I, I found a spot closer to the stadium than the parking lot that they make the employees pay and uh, so I'm gonna park there walk to the stadium and then what we do is we pre-scoop the water ice for the day. Now they say the estimated crowd's about 19,000 people. Uh, but it's 94 degrees. So we're gonna be busy. We're gonna be busy. This is just the introduction. So I parked my car and I got about a two block walk. There's the ballpark. What we do is you go here and then you go down on this side, there's a media entrance and that's where they make the employees go. All right, see that guy in the blue shirt? Anybody wearing khaki pants works for the Phillies. Khaki pants and white shirt, shoes. They work for the Phillies. Anybody wearing like a black shirt or another shirt and working behind the food concession stands, they work for Aramark. I work for Philadelphia Water Ice. It's September 11th, so all right, there's a lot of military people here today. All right, so here we go. So we go in here. Here's the bus you get to take. Oh, man. All right, here we go. Sir, All right. Had the name badge the right way, and then we get the honor, waiting in line and going through a metal detector. So I'm here early enough to watch bat practice for a few minutes. Just me. And uh, one thing is, when the, uh, they do the giveaways and they have extras, we get the privilege of buying them at a discounted rate. I got a new school bag for $5. I also can buy bobbleheads and stuff like that. first two times I did this I got bowls right away and ever since then I haven't gotten any in, in like two weeks I gotta get to work we go in through that entrance and usually the first thing I do is when I see this little view right here I get happy there are days when I come to work and I'm like ah. you know it's like two o'clock in the afternoon I want to do something that night but there are days where um, as soon as I make that turn, I'm like, you know what? 
how bad can it be? I'm going to watch a baseball game and scoop water ice and yell and have fun. Uh oh! Big day today, scoopity poop! And I'm making, yo, I'm making a documentary about our day at work. This is Capri. She's my boss. How old are you? 28. 28 years old, and she's only had to yell at me never. Oh, yeah, come here, come here. Never. Tell never. them how, who's no. the best worker? Who's the best worker? The best worker. Huh? You want to hear a poem? Give him a poem. I Give him your best one. No, no. Hurry up and beat the rush. Buy a cup of frozen mush. Woo! Every game. This has been my view. Uh, we'll scoop water ice. We get we pre-scoop all the water ice that way because if you actually if you think about it, if you had to scoop for every customer, the line would be long and it would take hours. So what I do is we get everything scooped up. Capri's gonna stop scooping in a minute and I'll take over. All right. And uh, but what we'll do is uh, we'll get all scooped up and then we'll do nothing for till about two three innings. We might be busy today, but usually I just stand here, right here. And watch the game. I make friends with the ushers. It's a good time. Uh, friends with these people. There's one guy over there who's a jerk off. Uh, I'm friends with the hot dog people. Who else are we friends with? Hatfield Grill, nice people. I, you know, my first day here, I was walking. My first day here, I was walking to the stadium. And I started introducing myself to all the employees. Hey, how you doing? I'm John. Nice to meet you. I'm John. Turns out there's 2,000 people working here, and they're not going to care who you are. So, all right, here we go. We're going to work. If you love it, put a glove on it. Right, Capri? Words to live by. And then once in a while, once in a while, when we're doing this, random celebrities walk by. Like, Probably like eight times this year, famous people. Like I got into a fight with Michael Strahan. Uh, R2-D2 was here the other day. Uh, the Philly Fanatic comes by every day. He gives me a high five or I give him a high five depending on how you look at it. On. There it is. Thank you. Every day I get my sugary treat. <laughs> the candy man. Um, the coolest thing we saw was the guy who opened up for the Who was in Jay Giles' band and he did Love Stinks on a sound check. And I don't think he did it at the concert. Or maybe he did. It doesn't matter. There was four people and he did Love Stinks. I was dancing and singing Capri Full. I lost my goddamn mind. She wasn't even born the decade that song came out. So what we gotta do is we gotta keep the water ice out for about five, 10 minutes before we start scooping. So it's soft and easy to scoop. We're lazy. We don't like to work hard. We're not lazy, we're smart. We like to work smart, all right? Now it must be near 5.30. I can tell it's near 5.30 because the security people are walking up. Which means five minutes till the savages come in. Oh no. And we're nervous, we're short staffed. There's only two, there's usually four. And it's, it's, 95 degrees. I think we're in trouble today. The one perk, the one bonus of the job, all you can eat water ice, right? We both have diabetes now, but damn, it was free. What's your favorite uh, flavor of water ice? Mango. I started. Mango with a scoop of cherry. Mango. Mango with a scoop. That, that's the way to go. Blueberry and lemon water ice are the hardest to scoop. Lemon is the real hardest to scoop. I 
and you only got like a five minute window, because it's either hard as, hard as a brick, or it, it's, it's mush, but not really like, too certain, so. This is what we, uh, do, 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 do. close the lid, make it nice. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting our colors for tonight's game, please welcome members of an all-service honor guard from Philadelphia and New York City. You want this? Hold it. You want the sexy shot, the money shot. Hold a couple more drinks. Two cups. I like, I like the cups. I like the there cups. There you go. Huh? Hey, look good. Huh? Look sexy. Look sexy at it. Look sexy at it. Come on. Some photo <laughs> shit. I got wagon on this this time, so I ain't right. A little more closer. I'll bring your cup down just a little bit on block your face. There you go. A little bit closer in. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, look at this. Wow. This guy's very creative. Wow. He's very creative. Wow. You can't create that. Uh, that's how good our water ice is. They go through photo shoots. So it's about 6.30, but it's 9.11. They should do something patriotic. patriotic. Maybe we'll get some jets. That's why it's called Patriot Day. I didn't know what, I, I never knew that. I thought Patriot Day was the Marky Martin. Mm -hmm. Do you even know who Marky Mark is? It's gorgeous, Al! It feels like June! Buy some water ice and get a free spoon! Woo! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hurry up and beat the rush! Buy a cup of frozen mush! Woo! They play the same songs for every game. Boss. Absolutely, you can have a cotton candy. Blue raspberry, absolutely. Six dollars, big guy. There you go. You got you right there. Huh? I mean, sir, it's called the guy pun. It seems crowded. A lot of people walking by. Uh, I'll show you the walk I do all the time. Uh, I'm gonna go fill up my baba. Yeah. All right. All right. There's Stella guy. He just sells Stella beer, and he doesn't have any poems. All he just goes is Stella. So it's 6:45. Oh, you want to see something cool? I'll show you something cool. Huh? There's this thing, hunt auctions, and they sell autographed memorabilia. Steve Carl, too. And they have old collectibles like bobbleheads. And the old bumper stickers. It's like, it's, it's like a museum here. So they got all the, like, there's a Hank Aaron autograph. But the coolest thing they have, every day I take to, a peek at it. Babe Ruth autographed baseball. Ted Williams autographed Jack. Robinson Uderith. It's amazing. Hunt Auctions is the name of this place. I got a Paul Owens autograph baseball card um, two days ago. Ten dollars. I figured I went to get one autograph from there. I've been walking by it every day. It's where the uh, I get my water for Layton. Fill up my water. I did. Oh. Like 
Ray Charles. As we honor the United States of America. <laughs> Performing our national anthem, please welcome military operation rising star finalist, United States Navy retired petty officer, first class, Stephen Powell. Oh, say can you see for the land and the free and the Seven o'clock. It's been two hours I've been here. So let's learn to see what's in the booth. Well, we sell water. We sell water ice. And we got cookies and Rice Krispie treats. Mustard. Pretzel braids. And water ice. I, I can proudly say we have the cleanest, most organized booth. Every time somebody in uniform walks by, we're gonna clap. Right. Now this is what I usually do. I just come here. <laughs> There's Stella, guy. <laughs> what happened? What happened? And she wanted my kid mango because she said she was going to finish it and she don't like mango. Look at the poor little kid's face. I'm ready to get my mango. Look how sad that little kid is there. Yeah. Because she won't buy it because she don't like mango. Who does that to a kid? Is it really sad? The kid's at a baseball game. It's not that sad. The kid, the kid wanted mango. Yeah. Wanted my, mango. Dad, my dad didn't buy me shit at a baseball game. I was lucky to get a soda. I can buy kid anything. Well, I, yeah, your kid. Her son, Dominic. She lets this kid anything he wants. Anything. How, much, how was that birthday party at Dave and Buster's? Expensive. Like, damn right it was. And uh, we can watch the game on the TV there. We can turn around and watch it here. The best thing about working here is there's no closed-in spaces. They're not fresh. They're not warm. But they're in a plastic, a plastic bag, and it's hot out today. Uh oh. Here. That guy was in the. Um, Kensington Connect Derby video I made. The video, it's gonna pop up now, it's called We're Riding Bike Show. How much we sold so far. Right. Down to one rack already. I think we should scoop more. His dad's the owner of the company. He he works here, so he's the boss of us today. Now, and then there's our market people who help us get change, or if there's a customer dispute, they help us. We don't get really many customer disputes. Not actually. Pop, pop, pop. There's pirate guy. Oh my God. That's the guy. That's the guy. 
<laughs> See, he's good. He's good. Yeah. He's good. Stella guy's good. He knows. She's good. Popcorn on the head. Good. Popcorn. Get your popcorn. I like her. Now on Sundays, when when it's it's like the middle of August, the line for water ice goes from here all the way down to about seriously about here. I thought we'd be busy. say I don't know. We, we, took, we made an, an, an initiative in, in March to know where the ice cream is, where the donut shop is, where the coffee is. So... Uh, so we're at the third inning. We got a uh, no hitter going for two can't you're not supposed to say that, but I don't believe in that shit. And we got our first meal of the day. Uh-oh, what are we eating, Capri? Uh-oh. What are you doing? Huh? Shake Shack! Singing Shake Shack! Uh-oh, we're eating Shake Shack. Alright, so we're gonna I got a double. Shake Shack Burger. What'd you get, Capri? Single. Single. Uh, Single and ready to make it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yo, right up. That's a good goddamn burger. I'm not allowed to eat behind the stand. Go. Oh. This might be the best burger I ever had in my life. It's the tomato. The tomato they use? You can tell that's a fresh tomato. Uh oh. That's your receipt. Thanks, man. Hey, how you doing? Are you paying with a credit card? Debit. Debit? All right, hold on, I got to fix this paper printer. Okay, sorry. Right. I'll be sorry? Okay. There you go. All right, it's all fixed. Lemon? Two lemons, here they come. So I got a hot dog. One last hot I'm dog. Go yeah, I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. These, these hot dogs are $7, but I think they're like half a pound. Really good. Bad luck. Three nothing Braves. 
Go. Cotton candy. Cotton candy. Blue, blue and red. Here they come. Bottle of water. Short. Two cherries. Two cherries coming up. Yo, I got busy. I swear to God. Yo, you want to help these guys out? Hey, guys. I don't know. Why don't you shut up? Why don't you leave me at the busiest inning we had all day? Uh, shake and not stir. There it is. We're going to be busy as We're going to be busy as next inning, right? Yeah. Who's that? Uh oh. Blueberry water ice. Hey. Same thing. Blueberry. Here it comes. Yo, here it comes. Get ready. Get ready. Here it comes. Watch this. Three to one, the Braves. up on your deck. Capri has to close the stand, so I'm by myself. I don't know. Now what we do is we have to count everything. Uh, I don't do that. I don't count. I don't do cash register. It's the most I rank by far. You can take up the entire year. And uh, what I rank today was more than I rank the entire year. What about you? You didn't get anything for yourself? No. Nah, all right. <laughs> you just get the privilege of buying. There you go. Bon appetit. Oh, there she is. Disappearing girl. Proposed? Alright, good. Oh, I worked my balls off at least. Yo, I've been real busy. I worked hard for the past one minute, seriously. I don't come here to work. You lie. No! I've been scooping and scooping and scooping. Scooping and scooping. Scooping and scooping. So now what happens is she counts everything and I wipe shit down. Scoopity scoop. And I put leaves. Go. Right. Capri the counter. Now this is where I gotta clean my spoons. This is my sweetheart. This is my this right here. It's the sweetest lady in the whole stadium. Say hi to the world. Oh. <laughs> the little video cam. Oh my gosh. She's the sweetest. Huh? It's always every side's your good side. It's my little angel, the sweetheart. So Capri counts it, she gets the money all done, we split up the tips, and we get on our way. All right, so let's see what the attendance is. They say it's twenty-three thousand people. If there's if there's fifteen, oh, the paid attendance. Money, money, money! How many cups of water ice do we sell? I have no idea. 176. 176!
satisfied customers. Well, somewhat satisfied, right? It's like it's like sex. I had I got something out of it, and if you did it, too bad, right? We did it, and as the Reverend Slick would just say in the WWE, the WWF, turn out the lights, the party's over.